Hey guys, so I'm going to show you in this video how to do email marketing if you are a business selling info products on Stripe. Because you see with most email marketing softwares, there's no way to track attribution to the actual email because most likely you're using ActiveCampaign, MailChimp or something along those lines. So I'm going to show you a software that lets you integrate Stripe directly and also track the attribution. Let's dive into it. This is a business that I've worked with, uh, very started to work with fairly recently. Ignore this. This is all MRR, by the way. So attributed revenue percentage is always is going to be super low just because this is recurring revenue that we're generating for them in the campaigns and the flows and also it's fairly new anyways so how you actually get to this point where all of the campaigns that you send are attributing and everything is first of all you need to set up the integrations so to set that up just go to integrations right here in the bottom left and and once you are inside integrations, you can see we already have a Stripe integration set up. It's actually pretty easy to set up. I'll show you on one of my Stripe accounts. So this is like just one of them. How it works is you need to go to your Stripe, go to the developers tab and search webhooks and add an endpoint. So how you do it is once you're in Stripe, just go to here and go into webhooks and go to developer webhooks. And you can see uh, this is done right here, right? So you can add an endpoint add the description and for the events, just make sure to select all of the events. I just select all of them just so that it's like fairly easy. But um, yeah, so once you create that endpoint, it's basically good to go. Once the endpoint is added, you wanna go back to Klaviyo and then just verify the Stripe hook, copying and pasting your signed secrets in your actual webhook itself. So once you verify it with the signing secret, what you'll wanna do is make sure sync Stripe test data is connected and that's going to backlog it. And then you want to go into data, click re-import. This is really important that you do this because that's going to backlog all of the historical data. And once you do, Stripe should be connected after a few hours and you're good to send campaigns, build flows, etc., etc. So how the flows kind of work, it's actually quite limited. It's not like a Shopify where there's like a bunch of different variations that you can do. So I'm going to show you all of the possible ones that we're going to be thinking about for like this account specifically. This is just one of my friends. That's why we haven't built it out extensively. So let me show you all of the possible flow variations that you can actually set up. So first of all, you want to hit create a flow. Then you want to hit create from scratch. I'm just going to name this plethora demo for the sake of this video. And once the flow is created, you can trigger it based on the list that it's added. So this is fairly standard. So if you do a welcome series, this is going to be the trigger. Um, but let's talk about the metrics first, because obviously that's like the most important, right? So metric wise there's only a few so you can see there's failed payments issued invoice refunded payment and successfully paid right don't worry too much about the issued invoice or refunded payment that's not super relevant the main thing is successfully paid so this happens once someone triggers a uh, like a payment event right so the flow you can essentially build on successfully paid is some sort of customer thank you sequence or customer onboarding sequence, right? Sending them all of the right links that they need access to. And if you're se selling a subscription product, you wanna make sure to filter out anyone that has paid again, right? Because after 30 days, you don't wanna send them the same exact emails as the people that have done it first time. Another way to do it is if you wanna have a repeat customer and a first time customer list, you can basically use some sort of conditional splits to split it between payment successfully paid equals one time versus repeat customers. So that's that. And then in terms of flow filters, I would just recommend if you're selling like a one-time purchase product or like multiple different things, just filter out anyone who has successfully paid again since starting this flow. So that's one way of setting it up. And realistically, you can only do two types of flows that I just demoed, right? Your welcome series, which is a list trigger, and then segment, which is a metric trigger. Now, there are other ways to create flows, and this is where you need to get a little bit more creative. So what we could do is go into create a segment. So to do this, you just want to go to list and segments. You want to hit create list and segment, select a segment. So the difference is a list is based, in, based on opt-in. Whereas a segment is based on behavior and properties, right? So in this case, we're going to create a segment based on the behaviors of people. And you'll see that there's actually more triggers that is added here. So you can see failed payment, payment value, issued invoice, blah, 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 right? So what you could do, the metric that's most interesting is actually revenue. So revenue is how much they've spent with 
your Stripe account. And this is where you can create the VIP segments, right? So for example, if you're selling a subscription product, how you can know if someone has stayed with you for multiple months is one of two ways. They've pay you, paid you a lot of money or they've successfully paid multiple times, right? This is how you can create VIP segments. And once you create this VIP segment, you can actually create a flow based on the segment trigger. So once they enter the VIP segment, you can send them exclusive offers, maybe offer some sort of like, if you're like a coach or consultant, offer them coaching calls, et cetera, et cetera, and still track the attribution, whatever funnel you're driving the traffic to. So that's all of the flow variations. If you are an info product or coaching consultant that's doing over $100,000 a month, then you should consider booking a call with us. We can actually kill it for you on the email side implementing the same strategies as I just demoed, as well as doing really nice campaigns for you. You can see like we were creating 7,000 pounds in MRR added to this product in the last 30 days, right? And that's just us doing it basically for free for one month. Hope you found this video valuable. And if you did subscribe, I give a lot of free game around email marketing and e-commerce or businesses that just sell online in general. So stay tuned.